Now on our other top story, Pennsylvania residents took to the polls today to vote in the gubernatorial primary election. The Democratic ticket is full this year with four candidates campaigning to oppose current Republican Governor Tom Corbett in November. WENY's Asia McKenzie was in Bradford County today where she talked with voters and elected officials about the race. Renata and Ben, today is a very special election day for rural Pennsylvania. On the Democratic ticket for Lieutenant Governor is Bradford County Commissioner Mark Smith. What Mark did by stepping out from a rural county and running for a statewide race is just hard. Commissioner Doug McClinko says that he and Commissioner Smith have different political views, but he commends him for running. This is the first time in decades that someone from a rural area in the state will run on a ticket with candidates from big cities like Philadelphia and Harrisburg. I'm pretty proud of how hard he's worked, even though we differ on issues and stuff. He's done rural Pennsylvania and Bradford County proud. Bradford County Election Bureau expects about 20 percent of the 40,000 registered voters to vote today. Voters showed up to the polls to choose which candidate they believe is the best to challenge incumbent Republican Governor Tom Corbett, who is seeking a second term. They want this election to bring major changes to their community. Lower taxes maybe, um, put some more money into our schools. I feel education is a high priority for our up-and-coming people. And it's not too late to vote here in Pennsylvania. Polls close at 8 p.m. In Tawanda, Asia McKenzie, WENY News. And tonight at 11, WEMY News Washington Bureau will be reporting from Tom Wolf's campaign headquarters in York County and will have the results of the Pennsylvania gubernatorial primary elections.